Happy Halloween, my Soulfly family. Hope you guys doing well, being safe, and all that good stuff. Hope you guys having a Soulfly day today. <laughs> so this is a spooky video and everything. I'm gonna have my mask and everything. So let's enjoy this video. Please enjoy. I hope you guys will, and please leave a like down below right now <laughs> just for, just for the time being so by the title this is a video of spooky releases that I haven't done a like release video in a while the first release these releases are all going to be um, some in October that I want to talk about and some in November that I want to talk about and there's one in December that I really want to talk about as well. And we're going to see if Soulfly Shoe or it's a drop for me or it's a, it's just not a Soulfly Shoe. So, so I'm going to be saying that too. And please leave any comments down below. So the first release, uh, this release released in October and um, the release already passed, so that is the Vermilion Foam Runners. These are really nice, they're really cool. I've been waiting on these after two years when they first, um, first released pictures on, on the rapper ASAP Ferg. He had them on feet first, and when I saw those, uh, I knew I had to have the red pair and now they finally release and and the release I'm just going to say it went well and this is definitely a so fly shoe for me. I know a lot of you guys will probably think it's an ugly shoe and I understand that. I respect and I and I could, you know, I already know that. <laughs> so so, the other release I want to talk about is the Pine Green Jordan 3s. Those are nice. <laughs> I really like the New Buck suede uppers. They look really nice with the hint of green and all that. I just think it's a good look for Air Jordan 3. It kind of reminds me of like a Celtic Green 3 in a way. And I really like green. So, that shoe, it it's a soulfly shoe but that release didn't go well for me so i hope you guys acquired your pair <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. thumbnail action okay anyway <laughs> let's bring out the computer for this one I'm gonna put my mask off for this one because uh, like troll, I can't man. see. <laughs> I can't see that well. So the next release is on November 4th. And these are the Air Jordan 14 Low in this bold pink colorway. Um, they have like a suede upper. They're very vibrant. They are um, just a crazy color of pink Jordan 14s that I've never seen before and it's crazy it's a really unique shoe um, I know a lot of people um, will not go for these and I pretty think I think these are these will be like sitting on shelves if not then that's kind of kind of surprising to me but um, I think this is this has potential to be a Soulfly shoe for me because it it's a unique Air Jordan 14, in my opinion, and and as you guys know, I do like unique shoes, right? So I think this might be a Soulfly shoe, but it, it's not, you know, it's not the perfect the perfect looking shoe, I guess, but because it does have a lot of pink on it, so yeah. Um, but I really like the suede 
pink uppers on these I think it looks really nice so so yeah that's that one November 4th on the bold pink 14s let's go to the next one these are the Air Jordan 13 low um, uh, singles day the Air Jordan 13 low singles day right here um, I'm kind of iffy on these because this is a glowing type of shoe and the glow is really like it like really pops and it's like a really cool effect that it brings when these do glow and they have like this writing on the side I don't know what that is it's kind of like a like a matrix looking um, side panel uh, I don't know I think these might have like a matrix inspired type of Air Jordan 13 um, in a way but yeah I'm not sure uh, this is not a Soulfly shoe yet for me because I don't know I can't decide if I like them I do like that they are uh, Jordan 13 low because in the highs I don't think I would grab them but it, uh, yeah it has potential but right now I don't think it's a Soulfly shoe just yet okay so but I do like that they glow and they glow kind of crazy. So that's the Air Jordan 13 low singles day. Um, it's going to release, sorry, it's going to release on November 11th. So that's that one. Let's go to the next one. Okay, this one's a banger. These two, the like Air Jordan 2 is like my third favorite model that I really like because they're like so comfy and they look like the best good on my feet I don't know what it is it just looks good and it really matches my style Air Jordan 2 low off-white in this Chicago Chicago colorway here as a uh, as a Michael Jordan autograph and these are going to release in November 12th so it's on it's going to be on the Friday and I really like that they chose like a like a retro look you know like the off-white um, midsole uh, like the cream that it looks like aged it looks it just looks like a really nice well done um used off-white shoe that that i really do like i like that i like that virgil took this look out of this um air jordan 2 off-white i like the that the like midsole kind of looks like it's cracking i really like those two and and i like the other one the black one it's pretty cool but I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab that one because I do have I do have the Air Jordan 2 Radio Rahim and it's also black and blue. And I also have the BHM Air Jordan 2 that looks kind of similar to these um, off whites here. Um, Cause it, both of them are black and blue. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go after that one. Maybe these two shoes are uh, definitely um soul fly shoe to me because i like that virgil is doing an air jordan 2 finally you know i love when air jordan 2s get some love and yeah just great i i'm all for it the next shoe is the air jordan 12 um royalties these are in, in november 13th and the retail is 190 um and these the retail is 190 and these just look like a taxi 12. i really like the black and white look because i really like um, black and white shoes I don't know it just looks like the best when those two colors match and I like that they um, added a little hint of gold into that 
um, aglets and uh, the Jumpman little um, little golden plate in the side. Um, yeah, it's a really nice shoe. Uh, I'm gonna try to go after these on on the sneakers app, but if I don't get them, then uh, I think that'll be it. <laughs> Cause. Yeah, it's a cool shoe, but uh, I think this might be a pass for me because it is like a okay shoe. I'd rather have the Taxi 12 than the Royalty 12, so, you know, that's just to be expected. So, you know, eh, it's not really a soul fly shoe, it's kind of a drop in a way. So, yeah, let's go on to the next shoe. So, on November 20th, the Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux is going to drop on the retail of 170 These I have been like waiting for because I really like the wine burgundy color on these. I just think it's like a good look for Air Jordan 1. Um, but I kind of wish that they did the swoosh like black instead of this silver colorway because it kind of looks like the blue ones here. The Midnight Navy Air Jordan 1s or the Japan Co um, Air Jordan 1s. Yeah, they kind of look similar but just these are burgundy. So I'm not sure why they went with the like silver swoosh um, it kind of doesn't make any sense to me and I like I do agree when people are saying that about this shoe I do agree but this is definitely a soul fly shoe for me I like I have been waiting on these since they released pictures man these are I think these will look crazy on feet and hopefully I'll get them. So, um, yeah, Soulfly Shoe, the Bordeaux Jordan 1s, releasing on November 20th. Okay, let's get into the next shoe. So, real quick, real quick. Okay, these are the Gore Tex Jordan 1s right here. Uh, I think this is a Jordan 1 Comfort. Mm, no, it's not. Okay. It's the Gore-Tex Jordan 1 releasing on November 23rd. Yeah, these, uh, they're okay. Um, I like that they kind of have a new buck look to them. I mean, that's pretty cool. But I don't know, like the colors, um, it doesn't get my interest that much, to be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, I do like the sequoia green on the toe and on the side. I, I do like little hints of that, but like the gray kind of throws me off um, a little bit. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I think this might be a drop for me. Um, I'm not too crazy about these. They, I just think they're okay. But um, if I get them, uh, that's going to be surprising because they're like, eh, completely eh, I mean, sort of, uh, yeah, they're, I don't know, they're kind of just whatever in a way, so let's get into the next shoe. So yeah, it's a drop for me, so let's get into the next shoe. Okay, these, I know a lot of people will kind of make fun of me, but like I said, I, I do like unique shoes and I'm just being honest, I really like these Air Jordan 11's Animal Instincts dropping. Um, these are dropping on November 26th and yeah, it is a woman's shoe but I kind of like how they look and how they brought in like the cheetah print or whatever yeah it's like a cheetah print i mean i'm not 100 percent sure if i could pull these off but 
I probably can. You know, I have, I have kind of, I, I kind of have like a little confidence that I can wear these and they'll look good on my feet. So I don't know, it's a definite Soulfly shoe for me because they did grab my attention when these images um, released online for the first time. So the Animal Instinct Jordan 11s releasing on um, November 26th. I think it's a pretty dope shoe in my opinion. And I'm glad that they're showing love to the Air Jordan 11s because it's my first favorite model of a Jordan. So let's get into the next shoe. Okay, so these are a December release of Yeezys. You know I like my um, Yeezys and you guys know that I've been showing off Yeezys a lot on this channel. So it's just, I just really like Yeezys. I don't know. Um, but on December, there's no confirmed date. Um, but the Yeezy 350 V2 Comfort and this slate blue colorway is uh, set to drop. And these are really interesting because they're taking a different design and taking it into a, a different way because they're, they kind of are releasing um, a 350 that looks like a mesh upper of some kind. Yeah, it's, um, this one looks like it's in the knit upper um, 350. It kind of looks uh, a little bit different than the regular 350 that we've been seeing releasing uh, hundreds of times. But it looks different. It kind of looks like a slipper type of shoe. And it looks more more comfy than the regular stuff. Um, I don't know how you could take the 350 model and make it more comfortable than it already is. So yeah, the knit upper is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's my answer for this one. Um, I think it is a Soulfly shoe. Maybe I'll try to get it and review it, and and because I I really want to see how these feel on your feet, if it's more comfortable and just all that good stuff. So, yeah, the so the Yeezy 350 Comfort Slay Blue is releasing on December, but they don't know what date exactly they're going to release them so yeah that's that and and also on the december they're going to release a new yeezy 450 resin and and these are these kind of are like a brownish colorway uh and i have yeah, these are like kind of like a like an odd um, brownish tan colorway that like kind of looks green, sort of. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the colorway, but like exactly. But they're they're pretty cool. Um, but I don't think it might be a pass for me. Uh, but but if you guys haven't tried the 450 Yeezys, um, I gotta say they're very comfortable and they look kind of weird on feet. I'm a, I'll be 100% honest with you. I do have the Slave Black one or whatever it's called. I do have that one, but they're really comfy and they look pretty good on my feet as you know I could say. But these are pretty cool. It might be a Soulfly shoe to cop. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, or I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't. I have no <laughs> idea where I will, if I will cop it or not. So these I've been waiting for. So these are the Yeezy 
MX Rock in this 352 <laughs> colorway and they're releasing on December but they don't know what exact date yet so yeah but I really like how they took like a swirl um, design aspect into a black 350 and the reason why I really want these is that I need a black 350 in my Yeezy collection so I could wear every day and I could wear like a lot so if if there's a shoe out there that you you know that you will rock every time just go and get it and uh, try for it because um, when you when you actually wear your shoes it's just the great feeling in the world and I, I know I know that I will be rocking these um, like over and over so yeah these I'm gonna for sure grab um, yeah it's a really dope design and I really like how they change their design here and there but Come on, Yeezy. We need a, a V3 in the 350 um, model. A V3, so we could go past the V2, finally, right? So I'm sure you guys agree with me. Yeah, this is so fly shoe for me. <laughs> so the last, so the last shoe I want to talk about is the Jordan 11 Cool Gray releasing <laughs> on December. Uh, December 11th Dude. I really want these uh, early um, I, I just want them in my hands already and I want to review these for the channel for an early look and um, I really I'm really been waiting on these more than anything man uh, and I really like Cool Gray and um, Air Jordans too, but nothing compares to the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray in my opinion. Um, I'm thank you Jordan Brand for for this because uh, I've been waiting on the Cool Gray 11s to like get it on my feet, to get it in my hands, to and to get it in my collection. This is definitely a SoFi shoe. This is probably like the best shoe that's gonna release. And the retail is 225 for the men's. Preschool is not available yet, so they don't know what the retails for the preschool and um, toddler sizes, but the men's pair is the retail is 225. You know, it's kind of up there, but I can't wait for these. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's the last shoe that I will talk about. Hope you guys having a spooky Halloween. Hope you guys trick or treating and all that good stuff, creepy stuff. And please, if you're new, leave a like on this video right now. Okay. Are you doing it or not? And please hit that subscribe button down below and please leave a comment about any of these releases and what you feel about these releases. Do you like them? Are they so fly or uh, definitely not so fly shoot or a drop? And please share this video to all of your friends and families for more content and more funny reviews, okay? Please have a happy Halloween and have a safe Halloween. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that they ride or die. I keep boys.